Hi, so at this time of year, I don't know if you're anything like me, but it's autumn going into winter and I'm, I'm looking for nice, warm, hearty meals to eat and nice warming soup. So I've been looking around recently and looking into the possibility of buying a soup maker. I narrowed the search for the soup maker down to two models, the Morphe Richards soup maker and the Tefal soup maker. Now, they were similar price. This one was about five pound cheaper than the Tefal. The whole similar capacity, I think this one's 1.6, the Tefal was 1.2, but the, everything else is more or less the same. You can make chunky soups, smooth soups, you can make, um, you can use a blend function if you like your soup somewhere between smooth and chunky. You can do milkshakes and things in them. Um, when I went to buy mine, the Tefal one wasn't available, so that's why I bought the Morphe Richards. But as I say, either one, they both had good reviews online um, and were similar price and do the similar, uh, similar things. So I'm going to show you how to make um, a roasted butternut squash soup today. Now this one, obviously you start off with roasted vegetables. I did actually make a carrot and coriander soup a couple of days ago when I first got this and I started to film it and then I mustn't have had the camera switched on properly and I, I just lost all the footage but I was just left with the bowl of soup at the end which I can insert a picture at the end of this one and show you if you'd like and if you would like to see how I made the carrot and coriander soup from the raw veg using this um, give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll do another video but this one today is going to be roasted butternut squash so basically what i've got here i've got a bag of frozen butternut squash that i picked up in tesco's um, butternut squash can be a bit difficult to peel and cut up and i didn't fancy losing my fingers so i thought it'd be easier to use a bag of frozen so i've got that so in here i've got the bag of butternut squash i've got one red pepper i've got one onion I've got a little sprinkling of ginger, you could use fresh ginger if you want, and I've sprayed it quite heavily with Fry Light because I'm actually following a Slimming World diet at the moment, so I'm trying not to use extra oils and things like that. So this is going to go into the oven for about 35 minutes, and then I'm going to transfer it all to the soup maker and I'll show you what happens at that point. So I've put the veg into the oven to cook and I just thought I'd briefly show you around the soup maker. The only other thing I'm going to do when that veg, when that veg is all cooked, I'm going to put it into here. I'm going to add a stock cube, a bit of salt and pepper and fill the water level up to the maximum level, which is noted on the, the front of the jug and it's also inside. This unit basically just comes in two sections. You have um, an electricity cable the one end obviously plugs into the wall the other end goes into this slot here it has a little cover on it don't know if you can see that and you flip it up and the other end goes in there and that's what you take out so that you can wash this because this is basically just like a, a kitchen kettle it's about just fractionally bigger than my kettle and then on the top I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but you've got settings for smooth chunky juice which is like milkshakes and blend and that's as difficult as it gets so the blade is all in one housing i believe the motors in this top section and then this bit's where you put the soup and this is you know gets hot like a kettle so obviously you take the power cable out of here and then just run this under a tap obviously not getting this wet and um, clean it out you can clean it with soapy water if you want to and just wipe it I just wiped it dry with some kitchen paper and then this I ran under the tap just the blade and watch the blade because it is obviously very sharp and then again I just wipe this all around with a piece of kitchen paper and this here is um, a sensor that detects if you've put too much liquid into here and it won't start if if you put too much liquid in so basically that's all there is to it and it clips on and then there's a minimum and a maximum line I believe the minimum is where you fill it up to with food and the maximum is where you fill it up to with water and that's all there is to it so once the veg is cooked and it's ready to go in here with my water I'll come back 
show you me switching it on and then it takes um, 21 minutes to make some smooth soup and I think it takes about 25 or 28 to make a chunky soup and then that's it. Okay, so the roasted veg are out of the oven now. They're just here in front of the camera on a tray. You just can't see them, but they are here and they're very hot. I've taken the lid off the jug. I'm just going to um, put the roasted veg into here and the stock and switch it on. Okay, so there's all the roasted veg in the bottom of there. I've already mixed one vegetable stock cube with about a pint of water. And I'm just gonna pull that in and I need to top it up to the maximum mark that's inside. So, okay, I'm not so sure you're gonna be able to see this, but I have topped it up to the maximum water line. I'm just gonna add in a bit of salt and a bit of pepper can always add more to taste at the end put this on you may have to you know jiggle this about if you've got a lot of raw vegetables in it but these are softened veg so it should be okay I'm just going to plug this in switch it on and then I'm not so sure if you can see this but the lights are flashing just scrolling between I'm going to press mode so that smooth is chosen and I'm going to press select and that tells me it's going to take 21 minutes so I'm just going to leave that to cook now and when that's done I'll come back and I'll show you and it'll be a lovely smooth soup so the soup's ready the machine will bleep for about 60 seconds unplug it from the wall as you can see from the steam it gets very very hot I'm just decanting some into a soup bowl now do be careful because this jug actually gets very hot on the outside as well with it being metal and here I've got one bowl of smooth roasted butternut squash soup. I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.